Hey everybody, just want to show you uh, with a quick video here that you can sculpt on your iPad, 3D sculpt and paint with the new Procreate 5.2 update. So you can have your own little 3D ecosystem just on the iPad. So two, two apps that really stood out in case of sculpting was Nomad Sculpt and Forger. Uh, I tried both a little. I'm not a sculptor or a 3D modeler, so I'm not very good at it, but uh, it's fun. Um, but there is some restrictions, and I just want to show you a little workflow that you can use. So you have Nomad Sculpt, um, very intuitive, and there's a lot of you know good uh, videos on YouTube and stuff on how to use this. So, you can be sculpting in no time, and I uh, I haven't tried them very much, uh, these two apps, but I've, I kind of like the Nomad Sculpt a bit better in case of the sculpting and possibilities that are in there. Uh, but one thing that Nomad Sculpt don't have, which Forger, ha Forger has, is that you can make UVs, and, and you, you will need that. So... Let me just show you the the pipeline here. So I'm going to go into the folder and I'm going to export this 3D model. I'm going to export as OBJ. I'm going to put it in my files on the iPad here. Just my project for now. And then I'm going to go out of Forger. No, sorry. Nomad Sculpt. And I'm going to go into Forger. I'm going to import that same model, my project. Just going to click for sculpting here. And it's kind of tiny, so maybe the units are a little different. So it looks a bit softer in here. You know, the Forger uh, is a different app, but it's also, you know, you can still continue doing cool stuff and you know I highly recommend watching videos on how this works because it's they're both really powerful but what you need to be able to paint in Procreate is uh, the UV set so go into this little menu press the three dotted uh, uh, item down there and then generate automatic UVs UV remapping successful. Now you can export 3D model and you can use OBJ or USD here. File name for paint. Uh, export. So I'm just going to put that in the same place. Beautiful sculpt here. No, it's not. But just to show you how it works. So now in the new 5.2 update, which is out now, which is really cool. Import. Import the four paint. So first thing is it's it's going to be pretty dark, right? But it's here now. Um, and you can, you know, the base layer, you can just add a different color to it, you know, brighter color, for example, like this. Um, and then you can uh, add a new layer, for example, and start painting. So I'm not going to go into a full tutorial now, but then at least you see it's possible to, to have a cool workflow. So you just need to get good at sculpting if you're not already and uh, you know have fun so awesome welcome to the new 3d era on the ipad okay bye